Hey y'all, and welcome to Southland Piper. I'm your host, Tim. Hope everybody's doing well today. In my last video, I showed you my method to convert pipes to accept six millimeter filters. And I have some other pipes that take nine millimeter. And if you give me a choice between the two, I like nine millimeter being a little bit more open. So I did some measuring and found that some of the pipes that I'd already converted to six millimeter were big enough about 10 millimeters uh, to accept nine millimeter filters. So let's swing around to the bench and see what we can do to accomplish that. Well, I guess the first thing we'll have to do is determine if the pipe is gonna have a large enough tenon to warrant the conversion. So let me reset that to zero. Now, this is, both of these are Savinelli's, and these are factory 9mm pipes. Let's see what we're talking about as far as tenon. Okay, 9. A little 10 there. Oops, let's get it there. Yeah. So, right at 9.9897, somewhere right around in there. Pretty close to 10. Let's check out this other one. nine nine four so just both of these are slightly under 10 millimeters okay now let's look at this just happens to be a another savinelli it's a 320ks uh this is a oscar dry yep so let's pull that open and i've already removed the six millimeter filter so we've got on this one just a smidge over 10. So it looks like we've found our first pipe that will attempt to convert over to nine millimeter filters. Okay, now like I said before, let's get right on the end cap there. I'm at 7.75 on the filter. Now, if you remember from my previous video, I used this little quarter inch uh, round nose or bowl router bit uh, to do the six millimeter conversion. In that set, and unfortunately these aren't marked, was, uh, was their next size up. And let me see if I can get it right. Yeah, seven, yeah, around low, yeah, 7.65. So that's not big enough, but that's, I think, where we're going to start. We'll start with that. Now I've got a couple other things here. I've got a 8 millimeter drill bit. Yep, 8 millimeter. And then I have a 8 millimeter reamer. And this reamer, I don't know if you can tell a whole lot by it, but it is tapered on the end for the first little over a quarter inch or so but it's eight millimeter. And that's what we're gonna use to accomplish that. And so let me go mount them up in the vise and see what happens next. I got my cutting bit in the vise and I came over here, but I noticed that I've got this lip, more or less, I guess you could call it, uh, the smaller diameter section of the tenon that I'm going to have to address with first because it's pretty much the same size as the um, filter. So you could file it off, use sandpaper, cut it off with a saw. Uh, I've got a little jeweler's saw. I'm going to give that a try, so I'll be right back. All right, my jeweler saw did a a good job with that and basically I'm gonna carry on with the same process that I used before and let me get a right now I've got that set a little too deep so let's back off you can always take more but you can't put any back into the stem so that'll be a good starting point. And 
Now, first thing I can tell you, it's a little bit more wobbly since we're already missing so much material, but it should center itself fairly well. All right, I will speed things up here and let's see how it goes. We'll make a little adjustment here, cut out a little bit more material. Right about there. See if I got it right. Yeah, a little bit deeper. Alrighty. We're making progress. Alrighty, we are there now. Of course, I can't do a test fit like I did with the uh, sixes because they're pretty much the same. It's a little bit, the hole's still a little small. So I can't do the test fit. So let me switch over to the tapered reamer. Open this up a little bit more. Drop my drill bit. We don't need it, I don't think. All right. Let me get out here on the taper. You can see that taper a little bit there. And that allows it to start cutting, even though, you know, see, that'll just go in. So we'll start cutting on that. The nice thing about the tapered reamer, when it bottoms out at the hole that the uh, round nose bit cut, it's going to stop. It's not. It doesn't cut downward. It only cuts on the sides. So now I'm reaming this out at eight millimeters. Let me do a little test fit now. Oh yeah, she'll slide in. Alrighty. Shouldn't take long to get to the bottom with this. We're just kind of cleaning things up a little bit. Pull it back out. All right. It has stopped cutting right there. I apparently hit the bottom. So now we can do a, get it out of there and do a test fit blow to clear anything and let's see what we got that's not bad let me get the bowl I mean this the, the um, stumble and see how much room it has for us Wow there's a lot of room in that stumble draws pretty good actually but yeah, it, what it did, it pushed that up a little bit. If I get it out, there we go. I am going to put the round nose back in and cut just a little bit back off of it. Well, if I can find it. There we go. I need to be a little bit better organized here, Mr. Tim. dropping everything. All right, let's just take a, well, that may be just right. Got you out of frame, sorry about that. Didn't have to come back in and cut much more at all. Please forgive my camera skills. I'm very new to this. YouTube channel idea. Hope y'all are enjoying it. Okay. 
I've got the reamer. Let me move out so you can see the reamer. So now let's ream that. And that should get enough that we feel pretty good about the way everything, way that everything fits. Drop my filter. All right, let's put the filter back in. Well, that looks pretty good. Draws nicely. Let's go compare it to one of the factory pipes. All right, a uh, little rain outside. Hopefully it's not too noisy. Now, one way we can check how much room we have in the stumble is we'll just barely put the filter in, leave it, you know, a lot of room, and then we'll insert it. And when we put it in, it's only going to push it in if it needs to. So let's see if we got any room. Yep, I can push it in a little bit after that. See, I've got it out. I'll do it one more time. What I don't want to do is get up against the end of the mortise. And, yep, see, she'll squeeze on down a little bit. So I think we're in good shape there. Uh, and how does it look compared to, that's a factory pipe. So, I definitely have, oh, there we go. Yeah, I've got mine seated a little bit further, but I, I want to go as far as I can in the stem so I don't have to modify the stumble any. So, that wasn't bad at all, guys. Uh, so there it is. Take your six mils, uh, filter pipes, and make them into nine millimeter pipes uh, without too much effort. Thank you for joining me today and hope to see you soon. Bye.